Taoism is a centuries-old religion originating from the dynasties of China that integrates ecological sensitivity and inclusion in religious theory, interpretation, and practice. An overarching benevolence for all beings is demonstrated through their beliefs of non-action as action, ecological centrism, and the ability for self-cultivation in practice, concurrent with engagement in nature. In order to understand Taoism, it is important to understand these themes and their implications on its practice. What does it mean to live by the Tao? One way to explore these ideas is by focusing on the presence of the ecological centrism in the Taoist religion tradition and the practice of self-cultivation by creating parallels with nature. The ecological ethic considers the human attitude towards the care and preservation of the ecosystems they inhabit. Humans, although important, only play a small role within the natural order of the world in context of Taoism. Nature has its own paradigm, where humans don't have the ability to control what happens or the power to change the natural course of the world. The situations that arise from nature remind the individual that humankind has their limitations and the Tao is a part of the universe we can never exhaust. This reduction of anthropomorphic status is meant to humble human beings to the extent where they can recognize the effects that their actions have on the environment. This promotion of the environmental ripple effect is a tenet of Taoism and is meant to create a sense of mindfulness among Taoists. Pollution and environmental degradation are just some of the ecological problems that our world is dealing with, along with natural disasters, neither of which are anything to look forward to. But when situations do arise, we as human beings should not be upset by the ecological drawbacks brought on by natural disasters. The area along the Pacific creates intense convection currents and updrafts of hot air due to the Hadley cell effect. As a result, countries along the Pacific equator are warmer and humid tropical and aquatic biomes are distributed in these zones. These biomes are known to be dense with biodiversity and may contain up to half of the world's 10 million species. These zones are known to have large storm clouds due to the upward current of hot air which help control conflagration and extensive fire with the ability to destroy a great deal of land. In 1997, El Nino devastated many countries along the equator by reversing wind patterns and normal trends of ocean currents. It resulted in very little rainfall, which created a severe drought across several regions. As a Taoist country, the Indonesian government grappled with the issues stemming from the change in climate by taking advantage of the drought to burn the dried out areas for land space. Overall, it was understood to be the universe's will to bestow the natural disaster to restore equilibrium as a consequence of humans not respecting the earth. When natural disasters happen, Taoists view them as part of the natural order. All the species that coexist in ecosystems are created for nature to transform according to its own likings. Nature has a mind of its own it suggests where to place the mountains, how to shape the gardens, how fast the water should flow. Nature is autonomous, and what it encompasses within the natural world is respected by every living being. The self-understanding in historical context of the Tao is that there is no self. In Bohannon's Religions and Environments, Taoists must form a discipline, beginning with transcending desires and self-serving knowledge then gaining the freedom to liberate the self and the inner spirit. Finally, after this, to enter the level of attainment where there is no self, where self is forgotten. For this reason, Taoists often reject and admonish consumerist cultures like that of the modern United States. Our sentimentality for material objects has created this disconnect from nature, leading to the environmental degradation the planet is currently experiencing. Humans no longer recognize all beings as sentient, and our actions show this feeling of anthropocentrism. In Lafargue's Nature as part of human culture and Taoism, he states, Taoists stress a recognition that it is a certain kind of anthropocentricity we are opposed to, a strictly using attitude towards nature, using it for human ends completely divorced from nature itself. Taoism encourages and even forces the inclusion of other non-anthropomorphic beings into moral consideration. 
every individual has the ability to realize the complexity of matter and energy to create the multitude of worlds and learn to be stewards for the earth. The whole is balanced out by the diversifying forces that maintain equilibrium in the universe. Humans are only a small fraction of the earth's population. It is through this recognition that nature is ultimately transcendent of human control, that Taoism is recognized as a green religion, as it urges followers to think outside of themselves and their current social environment. Taoism calls for a return to an ecological ethic that treats plants, animals, and other non-human beings with the same sense of respect and compassion that one would for humans.